and welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday, we are doing our makeup. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the Juno Show. And a welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back. I have arrived and I am gorgeous and I am stunning and I am out of drag today because we want to start from scratch. Because today, people, we are going to be a gorgeous and stunning witch. <laughs> now, before we start, everybody, I must remove my sunglasses. Yes, we're looking fresh and gorgeous today, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Happy Halloween, my darlings. Happy Halloween. I love this time of year because we can be spooky and gorgeous and stunning. So we're going to do a witch. Oh, wait, before I start, I just want to mention my new Halloween merch with drag queen merch. This is happening. We have gorgeous hoodies. Look at this. This is me if I was to rip my flesh off. And also, there's an amazing collection on Drag Queen merch right now of a Beetlejuice design, um, where I've got the umbrella from Beetlejuice as my, on my head, and also the Skull Juno, and also the Sims Juno. All the designs are by Marky Brown, who I absolutely adore. Uh, they've also done a sketchbook, because they know I love to do draw. I draw all the time. And this is my new little sketchbook inspired by The Sims. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I do all my little doodles in here. That's all available on Drag Queen merch right now, my darlings. Yes, that is happening. Hello, happy, happy Halloween, my darlings. My gift to you. Right, so we're starting the foundation, people. I didn't want to be yellowy green, which with the big potato nose and the warts and everything. Ugh. No, white Krylon, and also House Labs pigment paint. Now, I've tested this on my arm. It's quite cold in this room as well today, people, so I need to warm this up with my breath. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, it's okay. It's a little bit too light for my liking right now. We're going to add a little bit more of the this yellowy green by Meron. Oh, there we go. So we've got Meron, House Labs, and Krylon all mixed together in this beautiful, beautiful paint palette. But that is absolutely perfection. And I absolutely loved, when I was a teenager, I was obsessed with the musical Wicked, and I still am. And now and again, I will scream Defying Gravity in the shower. Uh, yeah. Oh, this just looks gorgeous as it is. Tina, bring me the X Down the neck. Now we're wearing a gorgeous and stunning top black Victorian blouse today. I know being a witch is a very predictable Halloween costume, but when I was a child, I just wanted to be a witch so bad. I've missed being green, because I used to do green colours as well. I think that is a very good coverage, don't we think, people? I know it doesn't look fully green right now, but it will, trust me. We're going to be putting gorgeous powders on and it's going to be Stunnelina. We're just matting this with some talc, with some, oh sorry, face powder. I, as you can see, I've not done any cream contouring because we're going to be doing that all with powders. What's everybody being for Halloween? I want to know. Leave your comments because I need some inspiration. If this goes well, we're going to be a witch and I'm going to force Phil to be the scarecrow. Next everybody, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a brush, carnival, be Perfect palette. There is a tone, and I'm very attracted to this tone. It's called Reef. Oh, yes, people, look at that. Can you see it on camera? We're not gonna do sharp contours, people. We want to be slightly pudding faced. No one mourns the wicked. And I know she's dead and gone. Oh, this is coming along gorgeously, people. We don't look green on camera, but we do in person. What's going on? Right, cheers, everybody. Happy Halloween. Also, please excuse the bird's nest that is happening on my head right now. I've been growing my hair out, hence why I've been wearing these toppers, because I can't deal with a flat head. And yes, we are going to be doing the big fat slug eyebrows, people. Yes, that's happening. So we're working with our natural nose to make it look a bit more... 
I would never ever do this usually, but I'm doing a bit of <laughs> I'm doing a bit of dark green in the nostril area, people. She's a sharp woman with sharp angular moments. But she's not a horror mask because I think she's quite beautiful, even though she's supposed to be hideous. You know, in The Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West has almost like a purpley tone under her eyes. Not like an eyeshadow, but like she's tired. Like she wants to climb into the bottom of a well and have some drinks with Samara. So we're going to be using Lavendrous from the Trixie and Juno palettes. Just really in the waterline. Oh yes. We're, we're, we're exaggerating our hollow eyes for once, people. Love the colour of this Lavendrous on top of the green. It's beautiful. I'm giving Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice right now. I wouldn't have had my little accident. Look, my nose looks more pointed. Can you tell? Or is that, is that, am I chatting absolute shite? We've also got this sugar pill palette. There's a colour in it called Button Mash. And I feel like this will really, really work well around our eyes, people. So I'm just having fun right now. So we're gonna try and go for that kind of brow. Where it, it's not too angular and evil in the middle, but it really droops down at the sides. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do them too low because I don't want to look like Hagrid. Obviously, we, this is a brown eyebrow pencil, so we don't want to stick with the brown. But this is I'm just using this to stencil out. It's the Scouse brow. Maybe we should be a Scouse witch. If you don't want to, if you don't know what a Scouser is, people, just look, just listen to the Vivian and Danny Beard. Don't start with me because what a f***ing witch. Ooh, I don't know whether I like this. Ooh. Old man. But today we're going to be doing our brows with it. And I'm gonna use some Inglot gel. <laughs> Don't do that, it's cringy. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. Oh, that works brilliantly. Yes, people. The witch with the scouse brow. I'm gonna go in with more black now, people. We need to make these darker and we need to hurry up. This is taking too long. The Scouse brows are now becoming Hagrid brows. But we're get ah! <laughs> Taking the Trixie and Juno palette, and we're gonna take some Lavendrous, and we're just gonna edge that Lavendrous in with the brow here. Right, I'm just gonna be adding some NYX liner on. I'm doing a really tiny slither of liner. I'm gonna add a little bit of a wing because we're gonna be the Wicked Witch of the West, if it was the 1950s. Look at, ah, oh, look at the, look at the tones on the brow. We need to paint our hands as well, people. We're going to paint our hands. We have to paint our hands. Right, I'm going to go in with some cheap but sickening mascara. It is called Great Lash Big Blackest Black Maybelline. She's a Maybelline witch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Smudge the eyeliner girls. She's got a wart on her chin. But we are not going to have a wart on our chin, people. We are going to slay without the wart. Are we gonna do lashes? Of course we're gonna do lashes, people. We can't not do lashes. I know we're supposed to be the Wicked Witch of the West, but we need some lashes on. I'm just gonna quickly pop on my top and wig. And we're gonna continue the makeup look in the fantasy because I like to feel the fantasy before the fantasy has even happened. Right, I'm back, people, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> oh my god, look at the, look at the hair. Why is the hair like this? It's kind of sickening. I just took the scrunchie out and it happened like this. <laughs> oh, you can f off as well. You can piss off. <laughs> Get. I hate long hair, it drives me mad, people. Right, sorry girls, just give me a minute, please. I'm just glue, trying to glue down this ball ache of a wig. I feel like this outfit's turned me into a psychopath. If I do this, I look even more like the witch. Dorothy is such a villain, people. You don't understand, she's, un she's such an ignorant little shit. She landed a big ass dirty house on my sister. Now, a lot of people, when you're doing witch costumes, I know it's hard to stop yourself from going into sexy witch mode. So I had a bit of a meltdown trying to get this wig on. Look at that, that's so much better. Right, next lash going on. 
Right, I'm gonna put some mascara on. I know you're not supposed to do that on top of um, lashes, but I like to do it because it creates, if you've got, if you've got straight lashes and you need to um, make the end bits a bit longer, this is what I usually do. So, I'm gonna paint my hands. I'm not wearing gloves because that is a cop out. I think I want to go out on a bicycle on Halloween in this look. It doesn't match. Why is it not matching? I think when this paint goes on and it oxidizes, it gets a bit darker. Oh God, this is going to get messy, people. I'm just warning you all now. This is called Witch Moisturizer, people. We're moisturizing the witch's hands. Right. Now what we're going to do, now we've got that on our hands, we're just going to... That's weird. Why is the dust coming off it? I'm having a great time here with the nails, people. I wanted to do like a pink nail. Because I wanted this witch to have a bit of sass, you know. She's got a bit of sass. She's got a bit of a... A bit of a gorgeous side to her. Uh, do you know what? The next... I'm f***ing not doing the nails, right? The nails aren't happening, people. The look has gone really well. But the only thing I'm really annoyed about is the fact that my pink, gorgeous, long nails wouldn't stick on. Because the nail glue is shit. The, what nail glue is this? <sighs> Take a chill pill. Right, so this is called Vert Armani Privé. And it is my favourite, favourite perfume in the whole wide world. <laughs> Stop it! So next what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking Vegan Agenda from Trixie Cosmetics. Yes, look at that, people. The problem was that I had so much foundation on underneath before I put the gloss and the lip line on. Oh, look at this, people. Oh, my goodness, mate. Look at the shimmer. Vegan Agenda. I don't know whether they still sell this, but I hope they do because I think this would look gorgeous on top of my June bug. I'm gonna put our glasses on. Let's see how it let's see what this looks like with our glasses. <laughs> I love it! Is it me you're looking for? Defying gravity! That was my stomach. I'm very, very hungry, people. So I'm going to go and get some lunch, maybe a meal deal from Tesco or something. I'm going to walk in and say, hello, I'll have a tuna pasta salad and a barbecue beef hula hoops and a Ribena, thank you. Oh my God, I love this look so much, people. Happy Halloween, my darlings, happy Halloween. And this is the finished look. We have arrived as the gorgeous and stunning, grand high, beautiful, wicked witch of the West, having so, oh, look, look at this beautiful behaviour. I'm not making any sense because I'm feeling the fancy a wee bit too hard. So, um, I'm just getting a wee bit too excited with what's going on. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, my darlings. And I hope you've got some inspiration for Halloween. Um, if you would like to shop my new Halloween collection, you can visit dragqueenmerch.com. I'll also put the link in the description below. And, um, yes, happy Halloween, and I will see you next time. Guy! <laughs>